crack in like some accidents in your town. Can you go the whole four rounds? Use a hoe now. Oh, take it how you want to. This is West Side till I desire. I'm his eyes, so we's eyes tonight. Randy, you the illest. Marcus Mosley was born and raised in Compton, California. He was birthed around the late 60s. During the late 60s and the early 70s, Compton, California was a middle class community. It was predominantly white and it was nothing but homeowners that were mostly Caucasians. The people that migrated from the South usually went to Watts and the projects because of the affordable living. But then eventually you had blacks that were striving for success and they ended up going to middle class communities that had nothing but homes, which is in Compton, California. Now during that time in the early 70s, you had the Crips. They were arising out the city of Los Angeles. South Los Angeles to Compton is usually 45 minutes long. In the city of Compton, you had black folks that were really getting along that wasn't trying to get influenced by the city of Los Angeles gang wave, which were the Bloods and the Crips. Pa Rule, however, was a street, and there's a street located in Compton, California. And Pa Rule Street has been located in Compton, California since Burger King was a prince. So it's safe to say that's an original Compton street. You had Raymond Washington, who was running things on the east side of Los Angeles, California, but it migrated and then he gave to a slew of teens, including Tookie Williams, permission to bang West Side Crip. Compton residents frustrated by the bow garden of the Los Angeles Crips taking over their communities and even having Compton Crips. The West Side Pie Rules, the East Side Looters Park Pie Rule, Cedar Block, Neighborhood, Treetop Pie Rule, and various others. They would band together and they would form the Paru Umbrella. Marcus Mosley evolved and he'll be named Molo, aka Motor Mouse, because he was strong as fuck and he looked like a strong ass mouse because he was so short. Born the real, he also loved playing football and also loved wrestling. And before he went to prison, man, he was well known in the streets, man, to be an athlete, man. Numerous run ins with the law, Momo. He'll be arrested, and then eventually, he'll be sent to prison. Now, at that time, if your ass was a blood or a paru, especially in any California prison, you was real blood. You wasn't faking. And people like Momo, he damn sure made a name for himself. Being a short, stocky dude out of Compton, California, Bompton, California, he would have to damn sure make a name for himself. And a lot of dudes, they would try to test his water and try to test his hand. Also being labeled one of the top power rules out of Compton, California. Eventually, after years passing, OG Momo, he'll be released from the California State Prison and he'll get back on the journey of making money and having fun and living his best life. Besides working out, getting money and staying fly, one thing he did love was those lowriders. It is said that he had at least six or seven of them. And then after hooking up with his girlfriend and then becoming a father, he had to change his life. I mean, OG Momo, he loved the hood, he loved the set, but at this time, he had to be a father. He was just trying to think. You need to think big. Now, if anyone in Compton, California knows Momo, knows that he loved dirt bikes and he loves motorcycles. And that's one thing he always loved doing, doing tricks. He was also known to be one of the baddest riders in Compton. OG Momo, he would be taking an ordinary drive down his neighborhood and then also through Compton, California on his motorcycle, tragically pass away on a motorcycle accident. That was in 1989. He was just a young man just trying to live his life. He was a well-loved, respected member of the Fruit Town Power Rules, and he was well-loved by all Power Rules and all Bloods. Rest in peace to Marcus Mosley, AKA OG Momo.